Hey guys, welcome back to Vogue Bandwagon. It is Sam and Danielle, and today we are doing another brow video. We, uh, the lovely ladies from Beauty Round the Clock, you saw that we did, um, the brow tinting. The brow tinting, yep. Which was like our first time using products from them. They've now sent us more brow products, but this is by and medics andrea laner cosmetics so that is who makes this right now i'm holding in my hand the wax strips they also gave us a brow powder trio um highlighter brow mascara and what else did they use oh a brow, brow brush. brush um so they were so kind to send this to us and we are going to test them out for you guys today and see how we like it first thing we're going to start with is waxing eyebrows um, have you ever waxed your own eyebrows at home? Yeah. I have too. But like with real wax. So what this came with is wax strips. So it says it's got instructions on the back of the box. And I was reading them really quickly. But on here it says it comes with four strips and an additional strip. And you can do eight applications. Because what it looks like on the back is that you take this strip and you pull apart two wax strips. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah, like and then shadow. this here, if it focuses, is already like put into a kind of like a shape for you so you don't kind of have to guess where it's supposed to go. Oh, I'm scared. Um, <laughs> yeah. So here's one for you. Thank you. So our uh, faces are clean. We just wipe them off. So make sure you're starting with clean skin. Oh, I just put on lotion. I'm going to put this out of the way. So it says on here, first you want to pull them apart. There's two little white tabs here. And we're just gonna pull these. Oh, they're so sticky. Okay, so it separates into two. But I feel uh, like more wax. Hold on. Oh, there we go. More wax went on the other one than this one. I feel like it kind of got ripped off. Are you? So you're just like cotton here. Does that happened to yours? A little a bit. A little bit. Okay. Um, are we supposed to use the same one twice? No. Oh, no, no, no. It's meant to separate. Okay, so you take one off. Now, it says oh, that... Um, so one end is obviously supposed to go on the other. It's just the shape is kind of odd. So this goes in your arch. Oh, there's like... You won't be able to see this on the camera, but there's like little dots here. Oh. So the points are... And like the only... Inch, oh. This come out of it. Shit. I was like, why are the only instructions the ones that are on the back of the box? But this literally comes with oh, it. That's it. <laughs> Let's see what's oh, in it's here. Oh, it's in like every language. Oh, so. okay. We got a little right. bit more detail. Where's English? English. Oh, those are. Oh, so you can that. use. Oh, you can use this like on your ears. You can use this oh, on your nose, toes. your lips, your toes. Perf. I might do it um, in between my eyebrows too. Upper lip. <laughs> Okay, so I can see from the tiny little picture here that the two holes that you see on here are supposed to go on the ends. Yeah, okay, that's what I figured. Okay, so now I've lost. What? Which way is sticky? I can't remember which way I picked it up. Oh, I think both sides are sticky. Weird. Okay, so the only thing I'm a little nervous about is that this is long. it's a weird shape. Yeah. Right? So if my eyebrows are not this shape, it's going to be a little awkward. Hold on a second. See, like, I don't want... Oh, I'm scared. Okay, I need to bring this mirror closer. I'm not going to, like, look it on camera for a second here. Okay, so so far this does not work for me because I can't get close enough to my eyebrow shape that I want. Um, so you would have to, like, I feel like I need to cut this to the shape that I want. This is great if you're, like, a beginner and you've never waxed your eyebrows oh, before. I'm scared. It kind of helps you, like, get a shape. And then it says that you're going to press the strip firmly. And you're going to want to remove the strip quickly. So when you're removing a wax strip, you always want to go against the hair. So I'm going to take this, hold your skin tight. And I don't have a lot of eyebrow hair right now. Like I can't I get do. close enough to what I want to take off. You scared me. I didn't know you were 
ready to go. Didn't hurt that bad. Okay, I'm just gonna press but, it in. Honestly, it took off um took off quite a bit, but it took off like two dark hairs because I can't get close enough to like you know where I want it to take off. Oh wow. Didn't know my eyebrows needed to be done that bad. <laughs> yeah, mine worked good. See, like I'm trying to press I think because I don't have like as much as a shape already. I'm you trying know? to press this into what like a hair that I want off. But I do need tweezers to like clean up. And it's just not coming off. Okay, so it didn't really work for that eyebrow. I'm gonna take this one. Like this is missing half. Well, this is missing wax here. So I'm gonna try and take this and shape it how I want. Oh yeah, I definitely didn't get close enough on this one, but I feel like I just let it sit for a minute. Like this arch is way too high. Yeah, I cut There's mine. like a point on it. But I feel like it's okay to cut yours. Like I feel like it's okay to cut them because everybody's eyebrows are different. Like even the ones when I used to wax my eyebrows at home with like Nair and stuff, which is, I don't want to diss anybody, but it gave me a scab. Like it ripped my skin off. Um, Cause when I used to do that, I always used to cut them to the shape I want. So that I'm used to. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, so for me, it's not working at all. It's taking out like a hair here and there, but it's really not doing much. It's taking out very blonde hairs, but it's not taking out the hairs that you can like see. So for me, I'm gonna take a pass. I feel like mine's working better. Yeah. Like mine's Yours pulling out dark good. hair. I see dark roots yeah. too. And you also but I just have can't get super thin, close. You also have thin eyebrows. Like I have very coarse eyebrows, so that might be an issue. Um, Sam's is working because she has thin eyebrows. It's taking out everything. But for yeah. my coarse eyebrows, this is not working for me. Do you have one of these strips I can try between my eyebrows? While we're here, I guess I could... I don't have really, like, lip hair, but I have these, like, blonde peach fuzzes that piss me off. So while we're here, why don't we just give that a go? Here, yeah. And also... I only want one. It comes with, um... Oh, this one didn't pull apart. It comes with finishing wipes, so you can take off any wax that's stuck to your eyebrows. I'm just gonna... Oh, they're so oily. I wish that these were wider. <laughs> So I can get like, I my eyebrows just grow everywhere, every which way, everywhere. Waxing your lip hurts so bad. I know, right? Okay, between the brows didn't really work. Maybe I didn't have as much. <laughs> my lip all I did. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> no, again, it literally took out like a couple hairs, but there's still tons of hair here. Okay, so I think that, like, my final thoughts are that if you have thin hair, um, this might work for you. It's easy to use. But if you have, like, very coarse eyebrows, this is not going to pick up the hair. Um, I feel like you would need a little bit more heat with this. Mm -hmm. But, like, you, both sides are kind of sticky, so you can't, like, rub it to kind of melt it in. So, yeah. would I buy this again? Probably not. It's not going to work for me. Um, but the concept is awesome. It works better on me because mm -hmm. um, I have like thinner hair. My eyebrows aren't as whatever like pre-shaped. So um, once I just took care of the like arch thing, it worked. I just didn't get really close to my brows because of the end strips. So I think that I still have to tweeze. But yeah, what are you going to do? Okie dokie. Okay, so I'm not like, <laughs> I hate doing my eyebrows before my foundation. It's just a weird concept to me. Because we're here and we're testing out brows, let's go in with it. Oh God. So we've got a brow mascara, a brow highlighter, a brow brush. So let's take this brow brush out. 
This is so awesome because if you looked at my eyebrow brush right now, it literally deserves to be in the garbage. Oh, it's I had a hair clip too. <laughs> I didn't need to borrow yours. So the brow brush comes with like a little pointed end there for angled end and then your spoolie brush on the end. I don't normally use brow powders, but I do I enjoy like them. them. I use them, I like them. So this brow... Oh, I made myself bleed. <laughs> so this brow powder trio comes in like a little thing like this. You open it up, you've got a mini brush in there, which is super cute, that'd be good on the go. And then you've got three colors in there. We've got olive, taupe, and dark brown. So the lightest color is for um, your inner corner and then the two darker colors can be used for the end to make it look more natural. So I am going to try it first with the brush that they gave us. And I'm going to take the olive color which is the first one. This is a very soft brush. I was not expecting that. I'm used to like firmer brushes when you're doing your eyebrows. Hmm. I do like the color of this. It's going on very nicely. It's looking pretty natural. Here's a small one. Oh, thanks. Let's see if it works. Oh, it's a little <laughs> so baby. Tiny. Did this come with it too? Yeah. Oh, it's a little spooly, a little. Okay, so far so good. I'm going to go in with, I think, the second color and see how that turns out. Put this on the end. I do actually like this brush. I'm not used to using something so soft on my eyebrows, but it is working very well. Oh, this one's really soft too. I think I'm just going to use the middle color. What is that? Um, taupe? Oh, I like the middle one. Yeah, it's a nice color. So, um, kind of blend those two together. They do complement each other really well. Where'd you put I'll the kind olive? of like, kind of come in closer so you can see. So, okay, so I haven't brushed them out, but so far, um, it looks pretty good. So we'll brush these out a bit just to blend it in and make it look a little more natural. I usually just like brush out the front of the brows and kind of just leave the ends. Yeah, so I think that looks really nice. I do really like the colors. Mm -hmm. so you compare my brows. <laughs> and it was easy to use. This little spoolie is killing me. You're so cute. Huh? Not bad. Okay, so my eyebrows are done. I really like it. I do really like it. Um, very natural, but like in a good way. It doesn't look almost, they almost look like tinted, you know? Yeah. Like, um, I do really like it. Like it's, usually when I don't soft, have makeup you know? on and then I do my brows, I'm like, holy crap, like <laughs> brows. But this almost like, it's very, it's very nice. Yeah. So we also got a brow. It's nice soft. I like it. Yeah. So we also got a brow mascara. So it comes in a little guy like this. Also two. And you open them up and he's got a little tiny spoolie there. And you rub this across your eyebrows to give you more uh, definition. And any like, say maybe light eyebrows that you have, it'll color them in. I think it sets it in place too, right? Not this one really. No? So this brown mascara didn't really do much. This is a dark brown. I felt like it was kind of dry. Didn't really do much for me. You know what it feels like? Um, a powder Oops. mascara. Yeah. Like the powder um, brow fillers. So I wasn't like a super fan of that, but I don't know. 
I don't my... usually use brow mascaras to begin with. The only one I really like is the Benefit uh, Give Me Brow, which like yeah. actually gives you definition to the eyebrow. I really like that one. Then it came with a brow highlighter. Now I opened this, and this is literally just like a white crayon. Um, when I highlight my brows, I'm either going to do it with, um, say like a lighter foundation or something a little bit more shimmery. I wouldn't necessarily take a white crayon to highlight my brows. I also feel like I need to go in and conceal my brows before I put this highlighter That's on. That's what I was just going to say. I don't want to do it without foundation on. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so eyebrows are kind of concealed. So we'll go in with this pen here that they gave us. And you just want to focus this on like the outer of your brows. It's very pigmented though. Like I feel like this would be really good as a inner corner like an eyeliner thing. Uh -huh. Thank you. And then I'm just going to take my finger and see how well this blends out. Okay, so I'm trying to blend it in, and I feel like it's just kind of taking off my foundation. Like, it's not sitting very well. Especially right after you've waxed. It's a little hard to do. It's, um, it's a little chalky. Yeah. It's I feel like sticking it in with a beauty blender works a little better, but you're kind of losing your glow. It's like sticking to my eyebrows, too. This side worked a little better than this side, but this is definitely not something I would pick up again. I would probably use it as like a waterline. Yeah. I feel yeah, like it's so nothing... pigmented. This would be awesome for your waterline. I feel like nothing's sitting under my eyes right now very well because of the, um, what is it called? Finishing wipe. Yeah, it's very oily if you don't, like, wash your face after. Which we did. Okay, so out of all these products, the wax strips, personally, I would not repurchase because they did not work with my coarse eyebrow hair. They seem to work better with thinner eyebrow hair. I would repurchase that. Um, but then again, I try to do my lip, and all that's happening is I'm getting red, and I still have got lip hair. So that didn't work either. <laughs> Um, then uh, this brow brush is awesome. That's going into my makeup case. I also loved that the end of this was soft, which I'm not used to, but it did work really well with the brow trio, which I would totally recommend as well. This was an awesome, loved the colors, easy to use, the powder was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I really liked it. I like powder brow products. So I really, really liked it. The darkest color I don't think I would use because of this is the medium and the olive, and I think that's dark enough for me. Um, it's actually a little darker than I usually do. So, yeah, but I like it. The brown mascara, I personally would not purchase again either. It seemed very dry almost, and it just didn't go on very nicely, even like putting it on my hand. Yeah. Um, See, it's powdery. It's just not very nice. I'm not a huge fan of it. And then we've got our highlighting pen, which is basically just like a white eyeliner. Yeah. And it didn't really seem to do anything. And personally, I like when like there's a little bit of shimmer underneath. Yeah. And I feel like that's a trend right now, too. Mm -hmm. So that was our final review. I think we're going to finish up our makeup, though, and we'll come right back to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're back. And we're made up. So we're going to go now, but thank you so much for watching this review. So we'll leave the uh, link to Beauty Around the Clock down below, and don't forget that you can use our code Vogue Bandwagon. Um, does it have a 20 on the end? I don't remember, but it'll we'll be linked it below. down below. Um, it's not an affiliate link, but it does provide you a little bit of a discount. And I mean, look at everything else on their website because they do carry a lot of different things like hair, um, 
waxing, obviously. Brows is uh, one of their things that I totally go there for. Their tinting. Yeah. Uh, we'll link, of course, all the videos that we mentioned down below. And um, that's it. Hope Have you enjoyed day. this video. Bye.